Welcome back, one and all, to D&D Tactics. We pick up the campaign here, seeking the silver key in a place called the Ravaging Eye. Which, I don't know about you, but that kind of sounds beholderish to me. I guess we'll find out. Location, the Ravaging Eye. This strange palace, so unfamiliar, fills the traveler with a feeling of dread. Adventure, the Eye. Enter the palace of the Ravaging Eye and find a silver key. Hopefully they mean, you know, the one that I need, not just any old silver key. Well, looks like I came in from that way, so... Yep, good, okay. Serena! Kaori. By the way, that, the belt of strength went on Kaori. That I got from the last adventure. I have heard tales of terrible places like this. Layers of beholders and other monsters. Called it! We must hurry and find that key. Totally called it. And I'll bet that we'll find a big beholder here, not just the goths that we've been encountering before. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, so we'll move you over here. A little bit of light. How did I actually get in here? There's no. I it's like I got. It's like I got caved in or something. There's no actual entrance. Light. All right, team. Here we go forth into the lair of the beholder. Oh, look, it's another Metal Gear. Well. Okay, I guess we're fighting goths and actual beholders then. Yeah, bite me, goth. Oh, wait, that's what you actually do. Okay. Do you see it yet? Nope. Do you see it now? Oh, wow. AC-19 and she missed. Must hold a one. I keep in mind that she's got a plus five great sword on top of that. So her hit rating must be incredible right now. I haven't actually checked. <laughs> Probably give you a torch, Valtore. Where's your trusty torch that you've had since the first adventure? Oh, uh, yeah, I get in this arena. You're kind of a fighter by now. There's definitely some blood on that mace of yours. Dead goth. What? Unknown unknown what? Where? Who? When? Do you what do you see it? Okay, so I I saw it was a goth there for a second. I oh hello. Well, I can I can target you. All right, uh, rain. I kind of know where it is. Yeah, there it is. Okay, Carrie, get up there. 
give Rain a hand. Uh, we'll go around. There we go. So these things, as I recall, I've got minor spell resistance. So I don't want to go too crazy on the magic here. But they're not arrow resistant. Oh, he's feared. I probably can't get... Nope, okay. I'll have to unfear him next time. Uh, now nah, we'll leave that path open for Kiori. Charge ten foot. No, wait, I can't. Thirty four damage, and it's one hit point left. Okay, it looks like it cause wounds B, maybe, for thirteen damage. All right, let's get rid of that. Um that remove fear. There we go. It's on music. Oh, look, bad guy. I want to know who keeps building these, these these metal work factories that have such evil, horrible things inside them. I mean, mind flayers in one, beholders in another. This seems like boss monster attraction places. Alright, what do we got? 40 gold? Uh... Work double axe keen plus three. Nice. I have no one who can use that, but it'll it'll sell nice. And a protection from spells, which is a wizard thing. Eh, I'll take it. And I'll pass it on to what's his face, and he can add it to a spell book later on. Because I did not actually take that one uh, when he gained a level. Alright, oh, that's one of those sliding doors up there, isn't it? Uh, there's... what's over here? Uh, complete and utter darkness, it would seem. How about some light? Okay, it's another sliding door. Yep. Aha! I thought so! I mean, I'd, I'd do it. I'd put a goth there. Just to screw with the player. Totally. Okay, Serena, you're going to stay there. Because I think over here is a dead end. So you'll be my little beacon point over there.
meanwhile, I'll rush Kaylee. Kaylee? Kaori. Getting tired, apparently. Kaori over here. And we'll do some crushing of a goth. No. That's that's just a flat out wall, I think, right? Yeah. Dead. Oh, it's locked. Uh, call the locksmith. Here comes Zerak with a jackhammer. Send carry back here while we're still kind of in the same round. So as not to use up my spells time limits too fast. I'm almost to the next level actually. If I'm lucky I might hit nineteen. Okay, in the chest, we have uh, 650 gold, scroll of anti-magic field, and arrows of seeking plus three. These are spendy little buggers. 32,000 gold for a batch of 30. But uh, yeah, plus three hit damage, and they ignore any concealment mischances. So, they're pretty sweet. I wouldn't spend 32,000 on them because that's a lot of a lot of money on on disposable items but Actually, how much gold do I have right now? I know that I've got over 300,000 sitting in my inventory right now. I'm over double that I came with when I first entered into this Dwarven Mountain range. Oh, weird hiccup there. Okay. All right. Uh, we're catching up. Catching up. Do 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 do. -do. I gotta be able to see a little bit better here. Here we go. Um, <laughs> yeah, There's just some thin corridors. Okay, fine. Well, let's Serena go. Jeez, he really wants, really wants me to, to move her. So, there. Moved. Here, Zerak. Follow up with everyone else. Okay, let's turn this corner and we'll see. Oh, it's another sliding door. Okay. I'm going to stop into this hallway and I bet you aggro a bunch of stuff. And by a bunch, I mean one thing. But it's a builder, uh, so, so it counts, right? We'll get right in this little beholdery face. Oh, there's two. Oh, it got her with her fear. Darn it. Uh, I need a fear uh, medic.
Oh, you are out of ammo. Let's fix that, shall we? There we go. can see it, so that's good. So, you know, again, I want to know why beholders are just hanging out here in this metal factory. It just doesn't seem a, a, a tenable place for, for a goth. Is it the metal that they like? Do they have rust monster blood in them? I mean, I can imagine... Gosh, would that be kind of scary, actually? A beholder rust monster hybrid? Ugh. Bad enough that they can just enchant all of your stuff or block spells or or heat with like three rays in one round, but if they could destroy your armor and weapons too, that'd be nasty. And frankly, I can see the mind flayers doing it. They're kind of known for that kind of well, gene editing garbage. Nice, one down. We'll get the dog moved up here. I uh, can't see it. Okay, move up here with Zarak and Yep, it's a it's a goth. Not even one of the fun goths, you know. Not a perky goth or a Black metal goth or under the stairs goth? No, it's a multi eyed one. My inner damage. Okay, let's get rid of that fear effect. I think I, I, think I can reach it from over here. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so I came up that way. So I'll have her move over here, preparation for everyone else, along with her faithful hound. I see a treasure chest. I'll bet there's a goth around it. So I am a wait right here. Only two hits. Oh, plenty. Okay, it's dead. I still bet there's a goth by that treasure chest. Oh, well... Or there's one right next to me in the hallway that I didn't see in it. I don't think it saw me. It's just hanging out there. Doop de doo, I'm a goth. Don't mind me, I'm just hearing all my gothiness. Yeah, hi goth. Jeez. <laughs> I can't believe I just walked past it like that. Well, and it's dead. All right, good. One volley of arrows later. No more goth to worry about. Oh, it's locked. Once again, call the locksmith. I do really like this area. It's got a nice dark metal vibe to it, you know. It's very 
it's very cool in that in that in that refinery kind of fashion. I I question its purpose um, with all these sliding walls and stuff, but I don't question how cool it is. Okay, Rain, get in there. Yep, I figured that might happen. All right, let's get in there. Oh, there's two of them, because of course there are. Always two there are. Yeah, and no, I wasn't even trying for a Yoda impression there, but I kind of got to a little bit with that with, with that line. Get in there. Nice. Got it in one. Dead. I don't really need Serena here. Um. This, oh, this leads way up here. Okay. Uh, I wonder what's up there. I will have to check it out. Let's do that, actually. What's... We'll send Faltori to go help. Oh, don't do a fear effect. Just damage, please. Okay. Oh, or nothing. I'd be fine with nothing, too. I'm very cool with absolutely no effect whatsoever. Critical from Roylock. Nice shot. Okay, carry moves up and we'll attempt to do the same thing. And she gets it. Dead. Alright, so. Uh, nope. This just appears to be a dead end. That's not a door, is it? Oh, uh, well, it kind of was. Um, hey, guys, sorry, I didn't mean to, um, you know, uh, surprise you, so I'm going to just throw a fireball, and you just be on your way, okay? Okay. Did I miss the other one? Him. Oh, and he's feared. Well, he can't really run now. I set him on fire, I think. It must have impacted early at some point. Okay, Faltori's in trouble. Oh, no, that's that's not him being on fire. That's his torch. Never mind. <laughs> Okay, uh, do I have any more? I am out of remove fears. Uh, does heal remove fear? Heal does not remove fear. Do 
have a scroll of remove here? Probably not. No, nope. well, I guess you're just kind of stuck there for a bit, Altore. Um, I can't remove your fear, so, uh, yeah. Another one down. Uh, I gotta get this chest, too. And it's locked, because of course it is. Okay, uh, Royal Lock, head up there and help your team out. Doggo, I guess you gotta go up there, too. I don't know what I can do about that fear effect. Wow, it's a, it's a full miss. Okay, good. She nails it, though. Okay, Zerak, go back and get that chest. I may have to just rest to get rid of that fear effect. Which would reset all my buffs and whatnot, but I can just recast them, I suppose. Ah, he's frozen so... Uh, he's, he's so terrified that his sling is, is frozen as well. Oh, that is a proper beholder. <gasps> Whoa, there's three of them. Okay, uh, this got serious. Of course, unless Curry just smashes one to bits in one round with a critical and f 100 damage. Never mind. Uh, the holders are not scary anymore, apparently. Yeah, dog, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 you're involved. You're not involved in this. Uh, another protection from spell, uh, spell, and a potion of haste. Okay, now wasn't there? Yeah, there's a chest way over here. Let's go grab that. I don't know what that is, but I'm glad that it missed. Okay, nice and provoked from two melee fighters and got whacked and lost its spell. Again, what are they just doing over here? Were they, were they resting? Are they sleeping? The beholders are again. They're these are these are campaign finishing finisher kind of monsters. They're, these are these are major bosses, and they are smarter than most players. Um, what are they doing, just hanging out here? It's kind of like, okay, for those of you who've seen the D&D &D movie, first off, I'm sorry. Second off, it's a really fun movie to make fun of. But it's like the Beholders in that movie. 
treated as basic guard dogs. And I'm watching the movie and I'm going, there's no way, there's no way that they'd have beholders just watching their front gate. I mean, yeah, it's clever because, you know, lots of eyes and haha, ha, Futurama ran that joke too, but I can't picture a beholder serving Damodar and Profian. I, it'd be the opposite, if anything. Oh, sweet. Got them both. Look at what the monsters were protecting. It's a key made of silver. End of the adventure. I missed another chest. No! Hopefully it wasn't anything good. All right, well, we have two keys down, one key left to go, the gold key at the top of the mountain there, Dragon's Fall. And we will attempt this mission next time on D&D &D Tactics. Thank you all for watching.